not really a sketchbook painter, but you really never know unless you try. So I guess what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go get a sketchbook if I can find one and I'm going to see if it's going to be something that I might like. Hi, I'm Gillian and I'm an artist based in Singapore. Today, I'm going to be going on an adventure because I'm going to be trying out a sketchbook and I want you to come on this adventure with me where I will be trying to keep things simple and I'm also going to be sharing with you my thought process. But the first step, we're going to have to go and buy a sketchbook. Speaking of favourite paints, here is my old or very first watercolour set that I started with when I fell in love with watercolours. So this was an impulse buy but I decided to go and get a sketchbook. I found this one that said 100% cotton and I thought why not? And I guess it's time to go back. Hey girl, how you doing? Oh, what happened to your fingers? <laughs> After putting my child to sleep, I thought the best thing that I could do was pull out the sketchbook and figure out what I wanted to do. Now the thing is, I am going into a brand new sketchbook. I've not used a sketchbook in a long time. And this is where I hesitated because the first page is always the most scary and it's also the page where we overthink a lot. At least that's me. So I thought the best way for me to try out using the first page of my sketchbook was to do something really simple. And I had a box of gouache that I've been wanting to use and I haven't used it very much. So I thought, why not just make some marks on my sketchbook? And that's exactly what I did. I just pulled out some of the colors that I really liked. I didn't even think about color mixing. It was really just about putting colors that I loved, keeping it really simple and making marks on a page. I was pulling out big shapes, small shapes and because flowers are my first love, this is where I would be making marks that mostly resemble flowers or at least something that is in nature. I feel like watching my child get messy and paint and just dive into a blank sheet often makes me feel this sense of admiration of their boldness and their sense of just diving in and quite often whatever they do isn't pegged to an outcome it's always related to some kind of experience that they are feeling and they are just enjoying watching the colors just get on the paper whatever marks that they put on there's that awe and that wonder with every single thing that they put on the paper and i think it's so wonderful to watch and i felt like watching my child just get messy with her fingers and putting paint on paper and getting it everywhere not caring whether the paints mixed and all of that really helped me to also gain some kind of courage at the same time 
Watching her do that also made me realize that quite often whenever I go into a painting, I tend to overcomplicate things. I overthink, I always have a specific outcome in mind, and I think that really kills the joy of the experience of painting. I mean, when we think about it, we're basically trying to get to a specific outcome and we're not really enjoying that experience of getting there and I think that by keeping it simple in this sketchbook where you're watching me just put down some marks I find that I get to connect to the shapes that my brush makes I get to connect to what I like about the different colors that are placed together maybe even overlapping specific colors and seeing how they work together there's so much more space for exploration and play when I keep things simple I find that we often overcomplicate things especially when we look at a space and we feel really intimidated by it just because in our mind we think that we need to fill the space but this is the wonder of creating art that I realized that negative space is also part of the art you need to keep negative space and this is how you're watching me portray that by leaving out deliberate empty white spaces because that's also part of the painting where the viewer is allowed to fill in the gaps on their own or choose to decide what they want to see with those negative space and I find it so much more powerful when we start to see that negative space is also part of the painting rather than feeling or feeling the need to fill it up which of course my youngest child she loves to fill up her pieces of work I have my middle child, she loves to paint from edge to edge and it's so fun to watch because she gets this satisfaction of getting all the way to the edge of the paper and not being able to see any of the whites and I think that's a different form of satisfaction that she gets and that's also her way of expressing herself where she wants to fill the entire page and that's also how she chooses to experience art. As you're watching me do this sketchbook painting where I'm just making marks, one of the things that I feel was so freeing was putting down that first mark. When you put that first mark on your sketchbook, you start to show yourself that there is that sense of belief that you know that this could take you somewhere and you could go somewhere with this. You never really know how this adventure is going to pan out. It's just like when you book a holiday and you go for a trip, whether it's with yourself or with your family, you just really never know what kind of adventures or memories you're going to make. And I think it's taking that first step. And with this sketchbook, while I have not really been painting in a sketchbook in a long time, I decided to jump into it because a part of me felt like I needed to prioritize a lot more play and a lot more boldness with the way I was using my materials or even be just playing with materials that I've been hoarding for a long time. I mean, if you and I are being honest, I have got a cabinet full of materials that I probably should take out and play more often but I still go back into watercolor and this year gouache has been with me for a while I went to Japan my first trip I bought a bunch of gouache tubes and it was always this oh yeah maybe I would try it someday but I haven't really and this is where this sketchbook was a great opportunity for me to do that and while I didn't know how it would turn out I have to say that I really enjoyed it with how it was coming out I also learned new things about the way I could use my brushes and I was having a lot more fun than I thought that I would especially when I started off hesitating about using a sketchbook to begin with so where I'm going with this is really about me encouraging you to take that leap of faith whether it is 
taking a leap with doing something new or trying something that's out of your comfort zone or even doing something that you were not sure to begin with and with that keeping it really really simple so i am leaving you here watching me paint this sketchbook painting and i hope that you would also share with me one or two things that helps you to keep things simple in your own watercolor practice i think it's so essential for a community to come together and also be sharing things that we are already currently doing you never know if your comment is going to help someone else who feels like like me are overcomplicating things and really need to keep things simple I want to add how liberating painting with gouache is because while I've been painting with watercolor for a while, one of the things I notice is that with more and more experience, I also become a little bit more self-critical and when you dive into something that you are new to or not as familiar with, you're definitely kinder to yourself and as a result, this exercise was so much more liberating and it was a lot more fun also i felt like being able to layer light over dark was a little different for me and i have to say that it also made me realize that i could play a lot more with this medium beyond what i was doing i actually did an instagram live a day later after i did this sketchbook painting where i did similar types of mark making florals on my second page of my sketchbook so you're welcome to go and check it out or i'll put the link in the description below so that you can take a look at that live but i'm having so much fun speaking with you about this and while my videos no longer share with you as much about how to do specific things my hope is that you still find joy in watching this video and still taking back with you one or two things that you can reflect about your practice hopefully while watching me paint it also gives you some inspiration to try out some of these things pull out some of your old supplies pull out supplies that you have not played with for a long long time and really just focus on that experience and joy of just creating for fun just because you want to I cannot wait to see you in the next video and until then don't forget to let me know what your thoughts are and I cannot wait for us to paint together again.